In today's video, we'll go over Palo Alto Networks versus Fortinet. Now, if you're in enterprise security, you know these two names are just everywhere. They dominate the conversation. But in this explainer, we're not just going to compare feature lists, we're going to dive deep into what makes them fundamentally different, not just as products, but as competing philosophies on how to do security right. And that's really the key here. It's not just about buying a firewall or a subscription service. When you pick one of these guys, you're basically buying into a whole worldview on how to secure your entire organization. So the big question we're going to tackle is, which one of these philosophies actually fits your business? All right, first up, let's talk Fortinet. Their whole game is built around this one big idea, an integrated, super high-performance security fabric. The best way to think about it is like this single, massive ecosystem that's all designed for consolidation and raw power. And when I say massive, I mean it. The scale here is just staggering. They've shipped over 14.7 million units. I mean, come on, this is no niche player. They are an absolute force in the market, and it's all built on a foundation of hardware. So at the heart of their strategy is this thing called the Fortinet Security Fabric. It's all powered by just one operating system, 40 OS. Now get this, you've got one OS running over 30, yeah, 30 different security and networking functions. Their secret weapon, they use custom ASIC hardware. These are basically specialized chips they design themselves just to accelerate performance. And the whole point is to bring down costs, use less power, and just pull everything together under one big, tightly woven security blanket. And you know what? This reputation really gets summed up perfectly by the people who actually use it. You go on forums like Reddit, and you'll see this sentiment over and over again. Fortinet is the best bang for the money. So if your main priority is squeezing every last drop of performance out of every dollar you spend, well, Fortinet is always going to be in that conversation. Okay, so that's Fortinet. Now, let's flip the coin and look at Palo Alto Networks. If Fortinet is that all-in-one powerhouse, then Palo Alto is positioned as the premium, software-first innovator. You hear people call them the Mercedes-Benz of the firewall world, and honestly, that's a pretty good way to think about them. And that premium label isn't just talk. It's right there in their valuation, a market cap of over $121 billion. That's not just about how much money they make. It's a huge vote of confidence from the market in their vision and their whole best-in-class way of doing things. You know, their whole history is about innovation. The founder, Nir Zook, is the guy credited with creating the very first stateful firewall. That was a total game-changer, right? It let firewalls track entire conversations, not just look at little data packets one by one. And that legacy is still alive today. They are laser-focused on cloud-native stuff and offering really deep, specialized security features. It's less about trying to do everything and way more about being the absolute best at the things they choose to do. And hey, just like we saw with Fortinet, the users back this up. You hear people say things like, super solid all the time. It really points to this reputation they've built for being incredibly reliable and high quality. And that, for a lot of companies, is what makes that premium price tag worth it. So, okay, we've got these two very different philosophies, right? But how do they actually stack up in the real world today? Well, there is no better battleground to test them on than zero trust. It's really become the new gold standard for enterprise security. But before we dive in, let's just make sure we're on the same page. What is zero trust? It basically flips the old security model completely on its head. The old way was trust people inside the network. Zero trust says, nope, trust no one. It assumes everybody is a potential threat. So every single request to access anything, whether you're in the office or working from a coffee shop, has to be strictly verified every single time. It's a huge mental shift. And this is where you can really see their philosophies play out. Fortinet's approach, you assemble your zero trust solution by piecing together different products from their security fabric. Think 40 Sase, 40 Client, 40 Authenticator. It's a modular, kind of build-it-yourself deal. Palo Alto, totally different. They deliver zero trust through one streamlined cloud-native service called Prisma Access. So one is a fabric you weave together yourself, and the other is a premium platform you just plug into. Okay, that's the theory. But what does all this actually mean for the poor admins and users who have to live with these systems day in and day out? Let's get into some real-world feedback, because this is where those philosophical differences have some very real, very practical consequences. And a huge one is the end user experience, specifically with the VPN client. And wow, the feedback here is pretty stark. Palo Alto's Global Protect gets rave reviews. People say it's solid, it's reliable. 40 Client, on the other hand, let's just say it's a major source of headaches for a lot of people. 
And this really highlights a potential weakness in that do everything fabric approach, right? When you try to be a jack of all trades, some of your tools might not get the love and polish that a dedicated best in class product gets. But then there's the elephant in the room, the single biggest factor for so many businesses, the price tag. This user story, it's incredibly common. You might absolutely love the premium feel of Palo Alto, but then that renewal quote hits your inbox and suddenly, Ford and its whole value proposition starts looking very, very attractive. All right, let's talk about stability. Palo Alto consistently gets praised for having sturdier code, but for Fortinet, a recurring theme you'll hear is just the sheer number of vulnerabilities and patches. Now, to be fair, Fortinet finds a lot of these themselves, but for the user, it just feels like you're always patching. And you can see how this could be a direct result of that complex fabric model, right? When you have one OS trying to run dozens of products, that's a massive attack surface to defend, and it can become a real operational nightmare to keep up. And well, this brutally honest quote kind of says it all. It really illustrates the risk you run with an all-in-one fabric. The core firewall might be fantastic, but that doesn't mean every single product in their giant ecosystem is going to be a winner. Sometimes, when you try to do everything, some things just aren't going to be as good as others. So, after all that, the arguments, the user complaints, the praise, how in the world do you actually choose? Well, it all comes down to mapping what your organization actually needs to one of these two very different philosophies. Let's just break it down. This table really makes it pretty simple. If your business is all about value, getting the absolute most performance for your dollar, consolidating your hardware, then Fortinet is almost certainly your champion. But if you live in a complex cloud-first world and what you need are those bleeding edge, best-in-class features and cost is, let's say, less of an issue, then Palo Alto Networks is probably where you're gonna land. And really, that brings us to the final, most important question. This isn't just about picking some tech. It's a strategic business decision. Your choice here is a direct reflection of your company's priorities. Are you about value and efficiency or are you about cutting edge innovation at any cost? What you choose says a whole lot about what your business really is.